Hi, I'm Claire. Welcome to the British Rowing Go Row Indoor Workout Class 6. OK, we're going to start with the um, foot plate. Make sure that when you put your foot in, the strap is across the balls of your feet. The damper lever needs to be on four or below. So just check that on the side. And the monitor needs to be up nice and tall because it encourages you to sit upright. And when you're all set, you can put your feet in and secure them in. Take hold of the handle. I'm going to start a nice steady warm up four minutes. Let's go. The warm up's all about getting used to the technique, just moving the body through the motions. We're going to sit at rating 20 to start. Nice light pressure, focusing on the sequencing. Legs, body, arms on the drive then arms, body, legs on the recovery. So the legs pick up the weight, they drive you back, the body then leans over, somewhere between one o'clock and 11 o'clock, as if on a clock face. Then the hands pull through, and you reverse it for the recovery. Nice and gently, warming the body up. Okay, we've done the gentle stuff. Just gonna add a little squeeze to the legs take the rating up to 22. Don't increase the speed on the recovery, but just dry the legs down, warm yourself up a little bit more. Good stuff. And then just to take the powers there, take the rating up to 24. Moving a little bit quicker still. Make sure it's the drive that leads it. Getting the power on in the legs. Excellent work, you can drop it back down, take the pressure off the legs, slow the rating, slow the recovery, back to 20. Still focusing on that technique, really bed it in for later. Good stuff. We want a nice long stroke, but make sure the lean in the body comes from the hips. We're not overreaching at the start or the end of the stroke. Nice. Steady rhythm flowing through. Just a few more strokes. Last one and relax for a second. Awesome, that's your warm-up done. Interval number one is Tabata. 10 seconds light rowing, 20 seconds hard rowing, six times, three minutes in total. The light is as light as you want, just moving through like we did. The hard stuff 
is when we make the effort. When we're ready, we'll come up to the front, sitting up tall, we're starting with the light, because otherwise we won't do it. Let's get, get back into the flow and the rhythm. 10 seconds is not long. In two, in one, we drive. 20 seconds hard. On the legs. Drive through. And rest down, 10 seconds easy. Ready, steady, go. 20 again. Pick the rating up. Using the legs. Driving away. And rest. Two sets down, four left. Nice and easy. Focusing in. Ready, go. Pick it up. Sitting tall. Lock the core in. Easy. Well done. Halfway. Big breaths. Focus in again. Ready, go. 10 seconds is nothing, but 20 gives you the chance to work. Pushing through. And rest. Two left. Doing really well. Might as well just get them done, really, huh? Ready? Drive. Make sure you're recovering. Each stroke, breathe. And rest. One left. gonna go for it now ready let's see it all out 20 seconds sitting tall driving long that's it keep it up and relax Whew. well done have a moment we're moving into a circuit now. One minute of rowing, one minute of exercise, four times over. The rowing is not that hard, but don't go light either. A little bit of a squeeze on the legs, steady rating. Let's pick up the handles, sitting tall at the start, off we go. That's it. At this point, it's all about the ratio of drive to recovery. You can be quick on the drive and then just take your time on the recovery. That keeps control of the rating, gives you the recovery you need to load up for the next stroke. Good work, just keep this steady. One more. And handles can go down. Exercise number one is a press up. So bring yourselves onto your mat. You've got options. You can either go in the box shape where you're on all fours 
with the hands a bit wide and bring down. Send the feet back a bit for three quarter press ups. Or if you want a challenge for a minute on your toes. So choose your level. We're going to start now. Nice and steady. There's no expectation to rush through this. Make sure the repetitions are strong. If you need to pause for a second, you can do so. If you need to take yourself to a slightly easier position, you can do so. Otherwise, we just keep squeezing. Head comes above the line of the hands. So you're creating a little triangle. Belly button pulled into spine. Strong in the core. Just keep squeezing. Doing good, we're well over halfway. We've got this. 15 seconds left. That's nothing. It's a handful more repetitions. Five. And relax there. Well done. Hop back on the machine for me. Second one minute of rowing. Let's keep the pressure where we did before. Strong and steady. Off we go. Again, we focus on the ratio. That means you get a nice sound out of the fan. Hear the drive, steady back up. Feeling all right? Fifteen more seconds like this. Last stroke. And put your handles down. Take your feet out, but leave them on the foot plate. You've got a bicycle crunch, which involves knees soft. You're going to lean back so you feel like your core's engaged. Hands by your head, and then bring one knee to meet the opposite elbow with a twist. Okay? One minute, starting now. Just nice and steady and controlled. If it's too much coordination or too difficult to lift the knee, you can leave the knee and the foot and just do the twist. It's entirely up to you. If you want the challenge, just sit back, get your core engaged and twist. Good stuff. Always important to keep your core working. It's the side of one. You never realise it works. It can weigh off. Ten seconds. And relax it there. Well done. Put your feet back in. Secure them in third minute of row. Off we go. Steady and strong, remember. Sounding good, feeling good, looking good. Really taking the time to think about the technique still. We want it to become muscle memory. Legs, body, arms. Arms, body, legs. Nice 
nice and controlled. I like it. Steady rhythm, hear the power. One more stroke and relax it there. Exercise number three is a squat. So you're gonna come away from your machine. Feet shoulder width, weight in the heels, and you sit back as if there's a chair, but don't quite sit down. One minute, starting now. Steady repetitions, making sure the knees stay over the toes, they don't buckle in at all. If you want a bit of a challenge, try and sink a bit lower. And either way, make sure your glutes, your bum muscles, squeeze on the way up. Get the most out of this exercise. I sometimes feel like I could squat all day if I have to. It's just so comfortable which is good because it's what you do on a rain sheet. Five more seconds. One more rep. Excellent. Back on the machine. Last minute of rowing. Ish. Steady and strong. Off we go. You can relate the squat movement back to the rowing move, loading the legs, driving with the glutes and the quads. plank position. So come next to your machine. You've got knees or toes as an option. Elbows are under the shoulders. Your body is nice and long and straight. We're going to go straight up, start counting. The option if you need to, drop to your knees, but keep the hips lifted and really pull the belly button into the spine. Focus on activating your abs very easy to not activate them without thinking but if you focus in think about it you'll get that much more out of the exercise did I say we were here for a minute because I meant it I meant to but we've got this we're all right just need to breathe through make sure the hips don't lift if they start to lift drop to your knees for a bit Likewise, if they start to sag. Otherwise, mind over matter and push through. 10 seconds. And relax. Well done. The circuit is done. One final push. One minute, all out sprint. Easy? Sounds it anyway. Right, no cap on the rating, no cap on the rhythm. We're just gonna go, ready? Let's do this. Off we go. Building up the pressure on the legs. Pushing through. One minute isn't long. You can hold it on. Pushing through. Nice. Settle into a rhythm that you know you can hold. A 
looking good. Twenty seconds left. We've got this. Start to squeeze. Start to drive. Last ten. Finish it off. And relax. Whew, well done. We do have one more minute of rowing. It's just in the cool down though. So if you don't mind taking your handles straight back up and just moving through the motions, loosening everything back up again. Breathing deeply, feeling good. Giving your body one final chance to loosen up before we stretch. Absolutely no pressure needed. And relax there. Well done. Step yourselves off the machine. We're just going to stretch out. Quad stretch to start. So if you need to hold on, you can. One foot up behind. Knees in line. Hips in line. And a chance to breathe. that over. Excellent, relax it down. Next stretch is for the hamstrings at the back. One foot out in front and just lean back into your hamstring stretch. Feel it in the back of the straight leg. If you need to, just push your hips back a bit further to feel it. We'll pull the toes up a bit closer to you. And swap that over. Good stuff. Final stretch. Again, if you need to hold on, you can. One ankle on the opposite knee. Just sit down into the glute stretch. Feel it in the bent leg, around the hip area. And swap that. and you're done well done thanks uh, well done everyone done and dusted hope you enjoyed the class and look forward to seeing you for another one